Okay, so I'm just going to cover real quick how to uh, use some techniques to help you out in starting a texture. So let me delete layer one. And one of those things is to bake in an ambient occlusion, curvature, or just bake lighting. And it can be a mix of those three. So I'll use, well, let's go through all of these. So if you choose the bake ambient occlusion, for the most part, the default settings work pretty well. You can try out the different options here, but I, I'll say that the default works pretty well. So hit OK. And as you can see, in the flat view, you can now, uh, an ambient occlusion has been baked where the areas that would be a little bit darker uh, are darkened here. So the reason to bake that is to help you out with textures because before this you know you had this flat thing and it's really difficult to see you know like where you will be painting some of the details and highlights and whatnot so having something like this it helps it's a good start so where you can visualize you know like oh uh, this should be lighter and this should be a bit darker there so you can use that or the bake lighting, which I'm going to show right now, which I think is, works pretty well as well. Let's go to bake lighting. Then you can choose, again, the defaults work pretty well, but you can try out different, uh, different options just to see what you get, right? So I'm just going to leave it a default and just bake it. Okay, and it looks kind of dark. So here's a layer and it's set to multiply. Let's set the opacity to like 50 or something. So now as you can see, we can start to see the forms of our model a lot better. And if you if you did a normal map, uh, you baked it and then you did the lighting here, the baked lighting, you would see all the details that you uh, model, that you sculpted, say in like ZBrush or whatnot. So as you can see, now we have our models already looking kind of cool here where we can see some of the details and this is really a big a really nice start where we that we can use to uh, you know continue our texturing here and the last one i'm going to show is the uh calculate curvature so basically what this one does is it creates a curvature map, so all the edges are highlighted. So that's useful for like highlights and whatnot. Obviously, it's set really high, so we don't want that. Usually, set it to like less than ten. And again, this is just to help you out in getting started with your model. I mean, with your texturing. So as you can see, we already have. Uh, while well, looking at in the flat view, we already have something that. Uh, it looks almost like it's like it has been a little bit painted already in black and white. So this is pretty This is a pretty good way of starting your textures So I'm going to end the video here for now and then I'll make a few more videos on how to continue this